by the way, uh, there's a lot of talk about Stefan Diggs, right? Mm -hmm. Back and forth, him and Josh Allen not getting along. Him wanting to get DeAndre Hopkins, all the stuff that's been out there over the last couple of weeks. Well, Stefan Diggs, apparently the new uh, destination for pro athletes before season starts is no longer Ibiza, as I was told you pronounce it. I thought it was Ibiza, but Cody's, uh, Cody told me it's Ibiza. I'm very bougie. Now, they, now you guys go to Paris, France, I guess. Who are you guys? Athletes who take vacations. You ever been to Paris? I have not, no. Oh, well, but maybe it's a different era then. <laughs> Anyhow, here's uh, Diggs uh, tweeting two things I learned in Paris. They don't believe in air conditioning, and the fruit over there tastes amazing. Mm. I don't know. I think the fruit here tastes pretty good, too. Yeah, it sucks about the air conditioning. Yeah. More importantly, though, he had some cryptic tweets regarding his relationship with uh, the Buffalo Bills. Uh, one of those tweets said, and I'm reading it now, if you don't feed your dogs, they put you on the menu. Um, uh, is that a way of saying it's a doggy dog world? Uh, basically, no? basically, what he is insinuating is Kibbles that and bits? if you don't feed the dogs <laughs> that live under your roof, Go you ahead. become dog food as the owner. So, oh, now, oh, hold on, animal. somebody so, this right. He's the dog. So, in other words, if we don't feed Stefan Diggs the rock, right. Stefan Diggs turns around and bites us. Right. That's gotcha. That's exactly what he's saying. Gotcha. Right. So, having the second most targets in the entire league since he became a bill behind only Devontae Adams right. is not enough. He's going to turn around and bite the hand that feeds him. Yeah, that's exactly what he's saying when he puts that, that, when he puts that tweet out. But I, I honestly believe that, you know, acquiring D-Hop, Stephon Diggs can do more with less. He can I still agree. have 13, 1400 yard seasons with Josh Allen without uh, 484 targets in the last three years because that is an a, insane number of yeah. targets for a wide receiver. And that includes a couple of weeks where he barely played because they had already wrapped up, you yeah. know, a playoff spot. You know, the last two weeks of last year, I think only had two targets because they were they were good to right, go. Right. They knew exactly that they knew they were going to be at home by uh, week 17 there. But it's just a weird thing to come out and say, to be fair, we're trying to read into it. We don't know exactly where what he's going through. Right. We're not sure if it is a Josh Allen thing, if it's an owner thing. I was told, as we reported here a couple weeks ago, it was uh, that he felt he was lied to about restructuring and them not going after a guy like DeAndre Hopkins. But when you put that out there, what you do is you allow for us to discuss it, not knowing what the hell you're talking about. And then that becomes dangerous inside a locker room because the guys are so busy, they're not going to spend time waiting to find out. They're going to hear a report, they're going to believe the report, and now they're going to have a problem. I just kind of feel he's being like a little petty, you know, with all the chirping a little bit. Man, he, he plays on a great uh, offense. He has a, a They're a great Super Bowl caliber they're team. A Super Bowl caliber team. And I think that if he has any issues with the offense or, or Josh Allen, Put those guys in the room and iron out whatever they got well, going on. Well, supposedly they so tried they, so to they do that. So they can go into the season, you know, with a fresh start, clear minds, and, and actually trying to, you know, yeah. be, beat the two top teams in the AFC. The Jets and the Chiefs. No, yeah, I'm with no, you on that. No, completely. the Jets and the Bengals. Yeah. No, the uh, Kansas City Chiefs. <laughs> I got gotcha, you. The, <laughs> the Chiefs and the Bengals. <laughs> it seems like the oh, that's a win for me. Yeah. Well, here's the weird thing about it. Supposedly, they all got in a room, right? McDermott and Bean and, and uh, Allen and Diggs and the owner. And we were told, all right, we figured we're good. We're good. Everyone's good. They're ready for the training camps coming up in a month or so. Yeah. But now he goes out to France and he's giving you these little tweets no that let you think we're not good. Yeah, I mean, having no air, uh, air conditioning to drive anybody crazy. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So I agree. It's very hot in Paris. Yeah. You know what I mean? They but, also but, but, don't like ice cubes over there. I, I, really? I, I don't yeah, know. I don't know. They have a thing no. against ice cubes. Yeah. I just think it's a, a Stephon Diggs and Josh, Josh Allen thing. It's easy to iron out. You know, they just got to be honest with each other. And it's telling what, what we expect from one another so they can, you know, uh, get, uh, get over the mountain. Did you ever sit down with Eli Manning before season and go over, hey, personal goals? This is what I'd I've like to always achieve? had great relationships with my quarterback. Yeah, you, you did. Know, because I, I understood the significance of, listen, if I can't uh, trust this guy to get me the football, then he has no trust in me. And, and, and that's how that you know, relationships work. It's a ball and chain. If you guys are on the same page, not just on the field, off the field, like you know, getting that work in the in the training, right. uh, in the uh, film room, and things like that, it won't work. Would you ever, or would a quarterback in your career ever come to you, whether it's Ben or Eli, the two best quarterbacks you played with? Would they say, "Hey, Plax, whether whether before a game or a season, 
Hey, you have any goals you want me to help you get to this year? Was it number of catches, yards, anything like that? Oh, I've had a situation to where we were playing in Buffalo, I believe it was like week 14. And we had already clinched. Steelers or Giants? Steelers. Okay. We, it was like uh, we were 15-1 we right. back in 04. And it was like pouring down rain. And I went to Ben. I'm like, look, dog, I need five catches. And I, I get like 650000 <laughs> and, he was, and he was like, we were only playing two series. The coach had told us Ooh. that they were taking us out. Right. It was the last game of the year. Wow. And Ben, would, we, we would call a run play, and Ben got to the line of scrimmage, and he would just look at me, and he was like, and just stumble the ball. <laughs> so, so I caught like five balls for three yards. Yeah. <laughs> I caught it and just fell down. So then after I caught the, after I caught the fifth ball right. and we came to the sideline, he was like, you owe me. <laughs> he got you the bonus. Yeah, he got me the bonus. Hey, 650, 650. Give him something back. Five catches for three yards. <laughs> five catches <laughs> for three yards hey. against the Buffalo Bills. Did you ever have that? Like a bonus online or a teammate yes. uh, with a bonus online? Yes. What was it? It was um, last game of the season. We was going up to Orlando, and we already had 96, 97. We already clinched, and uh, we knew what seat we was going to be in right. and who was, we was going to play. And Pat said, I'm just going to keep you at home. I don't even want you to go to Orlando. It's just up to real. You, you already got your bonus because it was three to one, three uh, assists to one turnover ratio. Okay. And um, mm-hmm. uh, so it was a million dollars. Million bucks. Yeah, so I already got it. So, so Pat did you a solid there. Yeah, he said, Man. don't even come in because they, they were wanting me to play. That's so don't amazing to me that people are aware. Like, he dope. said, just stay at home. Don't even come. And I respect that. Because you messed up your three to one right, ratio. Right. Oh, now, did you know that you had had, had it? Before yes. you knew, like the players always know. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know. Oh, they know. You know. You know. It was the last, it was yeah. the last game you know. of the season. Timmy's like, should I pass it? Ah! <laughs> no, the, the, no, 24 no, second no, clock game, violation. Oh. Game, no, the game before when we, you know, I clinched it another game, but during the game before, you know, you can always mess it up. So I was very, very, very careful. Right. With Who was passing it to? <laughs> right. so, oh, no, 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 no. Right. no, 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 no. Just not turn the ball over. Oh, okay. Yeah, yep, you know, yep, I, don't, yep. I don't want no turnover. So right. he would I come over. It. Alonzo, here. Yes, okay. there you go. Okay. Yeah. Make sure you have that. Like you have it baby. now? Right. Do you have it you now? Have it, you're, right. good. you're good. Because once it's in your hand, you take a drip with on you. <laughs> That's it. Uh, hey there. Thank you so much for watching The Carton Show. You can subscribe right here to get all the latest bits and segments from the show. And by the way, while you're at it, we have a lot of great shows on FS1. So check them out too.